my designer, and to my master bedroom. I have a pretty house now, so I can shoot anywhere I want. It's very fun for me. And also, this DIY is so, so simple that I can literally do it sitting here just like this, and it's gonna take us two seconds to do. What we are making today is this absolutely fabulous denim collar. It's such a good jacket and I did it a couple of years ago and everybody asks me where I got it, how I made it, what's the story behind it, is it hard to do, and it is so crazy simple. So I figured it would make for a very good quick little episode here. But before we can start, I must go shopping. Okay, I am sitting outside the thrift store about to go in. I'm looking for the right denim jacket to shred out the collar. There is really only one thing you're looking for. One, obviously a jacket that fits you and a jacket you think is cute, but more importantly, you want a jacket that is as close to 100% cotton as possible. It's the cotton in it, that 100% cotton that's actually gonna do the fraying. I'm sure you've had like a pair of stretch like jeans or whatever that you've tried to crop and you'll notice that they don't fray. It kind of gets those weird like balls, those like stretchy white fuzzy balls. Um, really weird. It's not what we want. That is not going to give us the effect that the, that we want. So something that is basically 100% cotton, the more and more you wash it, the more it will fray, the longer those frays will get. They also have that really great bright white in them um, just because of the way that 100% cotton stuff is normally uh, woven. So uh, that's really just the only thing we're looking for and hopefully I can find one in a style that I think is cute because otherwise what's the point? Okay, let's go. And it was right there, over the rack, that I found this perfect jacket. Now, not only does it fit me, which is awesome, it's a really great wash, which is awesome, but it's the 100% cotton that we needed. So let me show you the other materials that we need. It's so easy. Alrighty, so you can see how amazingly shredded this collar is, right? It's just got these really long, wiry ones that hang down and really make it look absolutely incredible. And if you can see there, see all these layers of fabric in there? This is what's key. This is what really makes it come together. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our jacket and we're going to cut the collar off, but you're not just gonna cut the collar off anywhere. There's one option, which would be cut right along here and remove it. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna cut up through here. You wanna cut right through here, the meatiest part of your collar, because that's where this bottom part of the jacket and this top part of the collar all get sewn in together. So you have multiple layers of fabric that can fray. So if you look here, we've got one, two, three, four layers that are gonna keep fraying every time they get washed. So we wanna cut right through that meaty part, and that's what we're gonna do and you'll be able to feel it because it should give you a lot of resistance because it's thick. See right in there? See all those layers? That's exactly what we want. If you wanna do what I did on the bottom, which is fray it out as well, the key to that is to do the exact same thing. And you can see it, you can see where those little indentations happen because that's where the thickness is. And that is it, my friends. That is the extent of this very difficult DIY. The next part is putting your jacket in the wash with every load of laundry that you do for like a day or two. Just chuck it in the wash, put it in the dryer, put it in the wash, put it in the dryer. The process of the two is gonna pull all those threads out and because you picked a 100% cotton jacket, it's going to have that beautiful fraying and not that weird, fuzzy, stretchy thing that happens on the other style. All right, I'm uh, going to the guest house, which is where my washing machine is. I'm going to wash this for the first time, see how shreddy it gets and then probably wash it again. I was just about to carry the rest of my laundry into the guest house to add more stuff into it, but I wanted to show you how cute is this little laundry basket I made. I did it on Home and Family, but it was one of those that I was really like pumped when I got to take home. <laughs> so it's got some laundry, so I'm gonna go ahead and add those things in, that way I'm not wasting a whole uh, load just for my jacket. Oh, I swear, no matter how many times I tell my husband we have a lights and a darks, 
right, so this is what it looks like after one wash. Um, it'll fray more when it goes in the dryer, but right after that, I'm just gonna put it in the wash again. It's just gonna keep on, keep it on. It is out of the washer and dryer for the second time, and we're starting to get nice and shreddy. Now, what is so interesting about this is that Gap obviously weaves their denim differently than Levi's does, because the shreds that are coming out are blue instead of white. But what's gonna look so cool is that this will all get white and all of the threads hanging will end up being blue, but it's gonna have this crisp white edge, which is gonna be so cool. So totally different than I expected, but really awesome. I can't believe it. After just three washes, this is what I've got. I absolutely love the way that the threads are hanging out from the collar. I think it is so cool that they came out blue with a white collar going around as opposed to the white with the blue collar going around on my Levi's. It's got such a perfect soft detail. I think it just makes an already great fitting jacket even cooler, even more of a staple. So obviously you guys can see you can do this to any jacket as long as you can feel that meaty collar in there. Whether you get the blue or white threads, it's gonna look really cool no matter what. I hope that you guys liked this one. If you did like it, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share it with a friend. Help me grow this bad boy. I so appreciate you tuning in every week and I have a good one next week so I will see you here. All right, love you guys. Bye.